Resident Evil 8, or Village as it's also known, has to be one of, if not my most, anticipated game of 2021. Capcom recently released a teaser demo which took a heavy focus on the detailed graphics and sound design. This video takes a look at my thoughts and future hopes for the final game. Hey, welcome to Little Big Animation. We are all about creating inspiring video games and animations to unleash your imagination so you can realise your own creative dreams and share those with the world. The Resident Evil Village Maiden demo takes place in the luxurious castle we have seen from the trailers. You play the role as what is referred to as a maiden, who are selected by the inhabitants of the castle. It's not clear if it's set in the same period as Village, since there is a document detailing previous maidens who have perished throughout many years. You are tasked to escape the depths of the dungeon and make your way safely out of the castle whilst avoiding your captors. Coming off the back of an incredibly successful 7th mainline entry, and more recently the remakes of Resident Evil 2 and partially Resident Evil 3, there's a huge expectation that 8 will deliver. The Resi franchise has had its ups and downs, and Resi 7 was seen by many as a return to form. Instead of focusing more and more on the action and cinematic elements, it went back to its roots, with one large main environment which could be explored through various means such as finding items or solving minor puzzles in order to progress. The fact that it once again changed camera perspectives to a first person view also shaked things up. Not everyone was a fan of this change despite other successful first person horror games in the vein of Outlast or even PT, but at its heart it was a great game regardless. If we're talking graphics and atmosphere, they nailed it, and the game felt largely more serious this time around, avoiding some of the franchise's regular moments of cheese. I had some issues with 7 which prevented it from being an absolute perfect game. I wish the main playable protagonist, Ethan Winters, would have had a stronger personality, as he is certainly no Chris or Leon. It would have also been nice to see a wider variety of enemy designs, perhaps even a nod to some classic creatures, instead of facing the slime-like monsters time and time again. Despite these issues, I'd still love the game and would have easily given it a solid 9 out of 10. Based on developer interviews, they clearly seem to agree with some of my complaints, as this time around for Resident Evil Village, they are apparently giving Ethan more depth and meaning into his character. We also saw from the trailer that the original design for Chris will also make a major appearance, as well as a nice variety of enemies to face, from villagers, werewolves and vampires to name a few. As you may have already noticed, the tall lady has constantly made headlines, forever being worshipped by fans, so it's evident that they have made a great villain right off the bat. No pun intended. The demo didn't include any combat, so that's not something we can focus on in this video, but we still got to see how one of the new enemies will toy with us in combat as she warps around the room, closing in for the all-important blow. The vampires definitely remind me of the Baker family, as they still have their intelligence intact as they stalk you relentlessly. I'm not sure how big and expansive the world of Village will be, but it's safe to say that in addition to the castle from the demo, we'll also get to explore the grounds and everything else around the mountainous area. Location variety wasn't something I had an issue with in the previous game, other than how they handled the ending chapters which completely disconnected you from the feel of the rest of the game. When I think about it, Resi 7 felt like a reimagining of the original Resident Evil. You had the mansion, the guardhouse, and the lab. In 7, you follow the same sort of blueprint, and with Village, I can only assume it follows the same blueprint as Resi 4 with the village, the castle, and some kind of lab, whether that takes place on a separate island is yet to be seen. After all the talk of a Resi 4 remake, it is strange that they would choose to also base Village around the same style of location, but I'm sure there will be enough twists and turns to give it its own identity. For one, it looks to be set in very cold weather, with snow playing a huge part in the art style. Focusing more on the graphical details, you can see that they've taken what was already phenomenal about the graphics in 7, and even the remakes of 2 and 3, and pushed them a little further. It's hard to compare since I was playing on the PS5, and there will be a last gen PS4 version, so I'm curious how close those versions will look to one another. Based on existing cross-gen games, the differences are minimal, the main draw being ray tracing and a higher frame rate whilst in 4K. 
I can't imagine the PS5 edition will be streets ahead, but I did like some of the particle effects for when the gust of snow entered the room after opening a door. More of the subtle details which aided the immersion. Like I said, it's yet to be determined if the last gen versions will match that, so I can only really talk about the graphics in general as opposed to them specifically being on PS5 until a later date. The amount of details on objects are on point. You get this feeling of richness, which goes nicely with how fancy and elegant the upper parts of the castle look. The basement below where you start the demo shows off another side of the graphics with a very dank and foreboding setting, which was more in line with the setting from 7. It was quite a stark contrast to go from these horrible cells to the lavish bedrooms and hallways above. It creates a nice variety and showcases the full power of the RE engine. The sound design was also handled really well. I constantly felt like something was lurking around every corner or a creature was about to burst out right in front of me. The vampires are handled well as you can hear them subtly whispering to toy with you but never reveal themselves. Everything is shaping up to be a true masterclass in atmospheric survival horror. I have high expectations for the full release on the 7th of May and can't wait to try the second demo featuring Ethan once that becomes available. I expect Village to improve upon and even surpass Resi 7 in all aspects and this could be the title that finally cements the modern first person Resi as a classic. I'm curious how much of a role Chris will play in the game as well as any other surprises that lay in wait. Imagine we get to see something major, perhaps an unexpected return of Wesker. Stay tuned to the channel for more on Resident Evil Village. Are you looking forward to Resident Evil Village? What are your thoughts on the Maiden demo? Let's discuss down in the comments below and subscribe if you're new here. We are all about creating inspiring video games and animations to unleash your imagination so you can realise your own creative dreams and share those with the world. If you'd like to support us on our quest to provide you with the very best inspiring content, consider becoming a channel member by clicking the join button below which comes with additional exclusive perks such as early access to our demos, behind the scenes content, your name in the credits, along with custom channel badges and emojis. You can also explore our Patreon page or our Teespring store if you'd like to get your hands on some cool new merch. All links can be found in the description below. Thank you. Would you like to see even more inspiring content? Click on one of our videos on your screen now. You can also subscribe by clicking on our little red imp. See you in the next Resident Evil video.